In July 2012, Joseph Prestia takes Singaporean investor Kenneth Lee to meet National Australia Bank executives at their Brisbane headquarters. Mr Lee's expecting to hear what the bank thinks of his $5.5 million offer to buy into Cathy and Terry Maloney's Daintree Eco Lodge. But instead of being ushered into an upstairs boardroom, Mr Lee is taken to the back corner of a nearby cafe. Did you find that suspicious? <laughs> Very. And did these two NAB executives tell you their name? Just the first name. But they didn't give you a card? No, no business card. He says, oh, he's upstairs. <laughs> uh, you know, I ran out of cards, you know, so, so I said, oh, OK. Did you get the impression that they knew Mr Prestia well? It looks to me like they are very cosy together. But as far as the NAB knew, Kenneth Lee's offer was just $2.2 million. Much less than the $4 million the Maloney's owed. But it was a figure the bank incredibly was willing to accept as full payment of the Maloney's outstanding debt. Did you at any stage tell them that your offer was $5.5 million? Uh, actually, prior to the meeting, uh, Joseph did tell me, do not talk any numbers to the bankers. I will be talking to them. I was rather surprised that the two bankers did not even ask me, well, what is the price you're looking at, you know? What would you say if I told you that the National Australia Bank was told by Joseph Prestia mm -hmm. that your offer was a total of $2.2 million? Whoa. <laughs> Only $2.2 million. Only $2.2 million. For, for, for the properties. And this is the document. And you will notice that he told the Maloney's this is the contract of sale that the NAB will see. Wow. You were offering how much? Five and a half million. There's clearly deceit. Definitely. <laughs> he was deceiving you. Yes. And he was deceiving the bank. Yes. After the strange meeting with the NAB executives, Kenneth Lee is apprehensive. He becomes even more so a few days later when Joseph Prestia admits his criminal past. And he says, well, do you know that I was jailed before? I say, this is news to me. So he began to tell me about, say he was uh, forced or wrongly accused of a, I think a chap, uh, Italian chap mafia or something in Australia. So he was admitting to you that he'd been accused of being linked to the mafia? Correct. Spooked by Joe Prestia, Kenneth Lee withdraws his offer. If Joseph Prestia mm. had not been acting for the Maloney's, if you'd been able to deal directly with the Maloney's, would you have been prepared to buy the properties? Yes, most definitely. Because I just had this strange feeling that Joseph wasn't telling me the exact picture. With the deal dead in the water, the NAB decides Terry and Cathy's time is up. They send in the receivers, and within a few months, the Eco Lodge is sold off in a fire sale. How much was your Eco Lodge resort sold for? $800,000. And it's worse than that. They then sold up our family home, our retirement home, and our other properties. Joseph Prestia still works as a corporate debt negotiator in Sydney at his new company, Dynamic Management. He refused two requests for an interview. Mr Prestia, Joseph Prestia, Ross Coulthard from 60 Minutes, yes. how are you? Good, thank you. But I'm when we approached the, outside uh, his office, he had plenty to say. Why was the bank left with the impression that because Mr Lee was Mr. only Lee, offering 2.2? Mr Lee, his lawyers, he, the money did not come 
and he did not. You didn't speak to Mr. Lee. You're assuming no. because the man. I, I can leave me. Well, I spoke to Mr. Okay. Lee. Why Mr. Lee was quite distressed that he wasn't able to go through with oh, the deal. Oh come on! With respect, and what why don't concerned... you speak to his lawyers? What? Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Don't put words in my mouth, I Ross. Have, I haven't put words into one, your mouth. You're a compulsive liar. I... Two. There was no five million. Three. His lawyers are in Sydney. Go and check the files first before you start making accusations because you do not understand. Why did you time. tell the bank that the offer was for $2.2 million? I, did, I didn't. I didn't. But Why that's exactly what Mr Prestia yeah, told the bank. It says it right here in this NAB email to the Maloney's. Why did you tell the Maloney's that you kneecap people who cross them in business? Oh, you're sick. You are a sick man. What, what, what? I'd never, ever, hang on a sec. Don't smile and talk garbage. Because, Ross, I've never said that have in my life. Have I've never, ever. It seems Joseph Prestia suffers from memory loss, as he doesn't even remember how many times he's been bankrupt. Uh, no, listen to me very, very carefully. I always do the right thing. I never charge Well, no, you clearly front. don't, because <coughs> yes, you've got a history of litigation. <coughs> no, no. You have a history of unpaid debts. You have a history of three times bankruptcy. You've got a no, background for no, conspiring no, on, to, to... It wasn't three to, times at all, and that was wrong. It is three times. No, no, it's not. Yes. Show me the proof. <laughs> I, no. I, I'm very no, happy to all... show you the proof. And here it is. 1996, 2001, and most recently, 2009, with the National Australia Bank. We've given you the opportunity to respond. Oh, well, I have, I have, and I don't have nothing to hide. Clearly, Joseph Prestia denies any wrongdoing. But what about the bank? The NAB refused us an interview. But in a statement, it said it regrets not having researched Prestia's background before referring him to the Maloney's. That's no comfort to Terry and Cathy, who, at 63, are trying to rebuild as best they can. It's been tough, but the one thing the bank can't take away from them is their fight. They're determined to expose the NAB's actions and its relationship with Joseph Prestia for the sake of others. I would say Joseph Prestia is well known for what he's done with us um, many times before and probably still is doing it. So why would it, the bank introduce a person like that to us and, and destroy our bloody life? And banks sit back and watch it. You felt you were entitled to rely on the bank's assurances that Mr Prestia was a reputable man. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Totally. Instead, what did you find? Totally betrayed. Totally betrayed. The banks are, are too big and powerful. They're more powerful than our politicians. Our politicians are shit scared of them. They've got power over all of us in business, people on the street. Um, they're too powerful. Up until last week, Joseph Prestia was still dealing with the National Australia Bank. But since our inquiries, the NAB has promised it won't engage Mr Prestia again or give his details to any other customer. 